Greetings all, Last Outrider here with another Proof of Life video and a couple of updates. One, yay! Good riddance, Eternal Crusade. It's been seven years coming, but thank you. You were the inspiration to launch my, ch actually no, you were the second inspiration. The first inspiration was the Tyranids Codex. The second was exposing the scam of Eternal Crusade and Michael Curon. And you're finally gone. You're welcome, world. I say this because I've noticed that there were a slew of videos announcing the end of Eternal Crusade and how it was a scam and how it sucked and all of the problems with it now, six years later. Well, welcome to the original YouTuber who told you Eternal Crusade was a scam before you gave them your money. Now, it's fun to note that, of course, these people who now said everything's a scam don't mention me, even though they made videos attacking me six years ago, uh, even though some of them were specifically brought into existence to attack me. <coughs> Chapter Smurf, Valric, and Bear, and other people like that. But the biggest thing I can say is as the first person to get a refund from Eternal Crusade, directly from Michael Caron himself, that set the legal precedent that they must refund everybody else. So anybody who got a refund, send me your 2% now. Thank you. You're welcome. The game was a scam. It was a scam that I knew from the beginning because I knew Caron before he started this. Before when he worked on Conan and even worse, Secret World. Both utterly crap vaporware games. And I had no reason to believe that Eternal, Eternal Crusade would be any different. And here we are. Six, seven years later, it wasn't. Now, back to more important things. This IP question of no independent videos is, again, like Eternal Crusade, a non-issue. And like Eternal Crusade and the Astartes hack scam it's the same group of people who are now boycotting games workshop it's always these same group a mix of russians and others scammers out there who are constantly trying to pull some type of 40k scam and this is their latest one. Now, let's say, as a creative who've worked in game design, yes, I have. I have a credit. And you know what? If you look really hard, you might be able to find a game supplement with my name and face inside of it. It's actually for a big company and a well-known game which just recently had a release, but I'll let you do the research. Anyways, any creative would know that you cannot allow a release of fan-made products for one simple reason, and you can ask the people from Star Trek Discovery about this, and why unsolicited manuscripts and ideas are typically publicly burned by any creative is because of the threat that someone says they stole your idea. Uh, I am extremely excited for uh, Warhammer Plus. I look forward to subscribing to it, and I look forward to su uh, supporting 
the creation of professional licensed content. And I definitely know that there are some butthurt, sad people out there who were praying for jobs to create content and didn't get them and now they are leading a I'm so upset I'm going to pretend to be offended by I can't create my independent IP videos anymore and boycott games workshop scam but this is obvious it is an industry standard it would be more shocking if games workshop allowed this to happen Okay, you can't because here's what will happen. No writer, no creator will work at Warhammer Plus if they didn't because there's always the chance, not even the chance, the certainty that they create some story, some plot, some show, and down the road, somebody who's creating uh, um, independent videos will sit there and say hey that was my idea you stole it from me ah, bah, 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 bah. Rump, 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 rump. this is what happened with the german video that german imperial guard video full-length movie couldn't be released lord inquisitor couldn't be released didn't people learn from these don't do this people you can't do this. And Patreon definitely screws this up. Haha, <laughs> phone call. Anyways, long story short, these people who are doing this boycott are industry professionals, which means they know that nobody would allow unsolicited manuscripts, and they know that you wouldn't allow fan-made material be prior to the release of a whole series of new content to avoid <clears throat> claims of idea theft. So I look forward to Warhammer Plus. I look forward to the new content. I look forward to the, to the expansion of the Warhammer story, which is my favorite thing. And for all the people complaining about this because they didn't get a job, fuck you. You're scammers. Until next time, bye. 